<clears throat> Turn off request to go live. Uh, what's going on over here? Uh oh. Let me fix this. Fix Facebook. I think I just need to, um, what do you call that? Uh, restart the app. I think that's what you call it. Oh, or do I have to reboot the phone? Because the last time I did this, I had to reboot the whole phone. Let me see. That's what happened last time. Let me see if that's the same thing this time. It might be, it might not. I don't know for sure. Mm, I think that was it. No, it needs to be rebooted. <clears throat> it definitely needs to be rebooted. Okay, so you guys need to hold on for a second, unfortunately. Allow me a moment to reboot the uh, device. This is what happened, y'all. Okay. Uh, if you've been wondering, yes, I've already, I've already microdosed. Thank you. So I am. Um, what it, um, Latavia saying, I'm feeling good. Birds fly. Is that the same song? Birds flying high. You know how I feel. I forgot the rest. Okay. I'm getting back online here. Thank you for holding. Chantel still doing lives. Talking to herself. You know what? That heifer. You know, I have a few choice words for, the, for Chantel that I can give her, but you know. Between you, me, and the gate post. I'm going to leave it alone for now. All right. Let me see if I can go live now. I've rebooted. And it works. <laughs> All right. What's up, y'all? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. All right, thank you for giving me grace to reboot um, Facebook and get Facebook together, all right? Let me um, put a little ice in here, huh? the Darius Cooks Cocktail Shaker, if you need one. Shop DariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word served at checkout. Mango lemonade. Mango lemonade. A pinch of lime juice, a little bit of mango syrup. Thank you for coming. And a little bit of cognac, maybe your favorite kind, whatever you like. And one swig of vanilla crown to brighten the whole thing up. It's called a mango tango. Deal with it.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the royal today. I'm gonna use the royal. I have both. I have regal and royal wine glasses in stock. So if you need a wine glass to enjoy your cocktail, well, guess what I've got? I've, let me get some ice. I've got something for you. Cocktail gets poured. You could garnish with something pretty if you got it. I'm more concerned about what's on the inside. Just like the Lord. Look at those low rates. <laughs> if you're not from Chicago, you don't know this. I've got something for you. At this time, we're asking all visitors to please stand. We do realize that it's not by any accident that you're here, but it's by God's divine providence. And we do hope that something is said or done that encourages your heart and you come and see us again. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents coming from the rear of the sanctuary to hand you an information card. We do ask that when you go around for offering, you take the information card and put it in the offering basket so that we may stay in contact with you. All right. We also have a free gift for you. You can claim it. It's going to be in the West Vestibule. We want to remind you not to go to the East Vestibule because the East Vestibule is the sign up for our seniors. Twan, down to the delicious house of hair, has graciously volunteered his services because he said he is tired of the mothers dyeing their hair and it come out blue and purple. He has a really wonderful product that he wants to share with you and he wants to volunteer his service. This is Twan. Twan, would you stand up so he can see you? He also sings soprano. He is our star soprano. This is Twan, everybody. Six feet seven soprano singing Twan. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, we'd like to welcome you to tonight's service. Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. Because you're easy. Mm -hmm. You're easy. You're easy, easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Preheat the oven. If you have it on convection, that's going good. That's real good too. Okay, you want your oven to be four hundred degrees in convection. If you got that. Okay, pardon me while I get myself together. Um, when it comes to temperature, it's going to sing a verse of a song three times. We're just going to pause and let it sing, all right? Why does it sing? Because it's happy. It sings. Because it's free. Its eye is on the sparrow. I'm going to get a pot. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a pot, y'all. All right. I have... Our beautiful 
tangerine and gold Dutch oven. We're gonna be featuring her this evening with a recipe. If in fact you do not have adequate cookware and you need a little something, I have pearl and gold, I think I have pearl and gold, there might be some crimson and gold, and I know I got tons of tangerine. I got the oval braising, the nine by 13 braising with the lid, I have the saucier, I have the Dutch oven, and I have the cast iron skillet. All right, shopdariuscooks.com while we're live, 46% off. All Thank you. <laughs> All right, let me get this warm. And let's get a few things that we probably want to want to use this evening. Oh, I need some room. Oh, stuff everywhere, child. I just can't see it. Mmm. Cut it. No, I have cutting boards yet. They're on the way. Knives. Uh, the utensil set, six pieces in them. I've got the gold flatware. All right. So I've got quite a few things for which your fancy might be told. Bacon. You know what I call this? The seasoning of the South. There's something about bacon in a dish that you just can't replace. And I guess uh, if I was Muslim, first of all, I would not make it into Muslim heaven. First and foremost. Second of all, I would ask Muhammad for a hall pass. Because I said to myself, Muhammad, hear me out. Muhammad, hear me out. Have you tried bacon? You know, I'm not talking about pork chops, hog moths, ham moths. I ain't talking about that. Muhammad, have you tried bacon? Huh? Because I'm going to tell you something about bacon. Bacon is all right with me. See, bacon ain't never did nothing to nobody. All bacon did was mind his business. See, I say, Muhammad. Guess what they got? So they got thick cut. Muhammad! Muhammad, listen, they got thick cut. Have you ever seen maple? They put the maple in the bacon, Muhammad. You ain't got to, you can roll your waffle up with some butter. That's all you got to do. Muhammad, hear me out, okay? Prosciutto. <laughs> Cheddar. Child, even pepperoni, Muhammad. It really is. It's some. Okay, come on, put this bacon in that pot with a little oil. Um, it was you do. You make Muhammad jealous. Jesus let me do it. Let them do it. Now, if Jesus let them do it, Muhammad.
And you know how strict Jesus is. They can't even eat shrimp. Wow. Wow. Tonight's live stream is brought to you by Vacation Bible School. <laughs> Some of y'all looking around like, what is he talking about? Well, we know who we're going to see in that great getting up morning. And who's going to be left behind, child. Because I'm telling you where I want to be caught up in the rapture. Ain't there something I can't give you in exchange for everything you give to me? Read my mind, you make me feel just fine. When I think my peace of mind is out of reach, the scales are sometimes unbalanced. And you bear the way all that has to be. I hope you see that you could lean on me. And together we can calm the stormy sea. If you need anything from my online store, the discount code is the word SERVE. Just go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the um, discount code served at checkout to save 46%. Thank you. Oh, you know what that is? I ain't tell you what I did. That's weeks. In this old building, my soul has got to move. That's a leak. You have to put that in water and swish it around. You have to baptize that. Obedience to the great head of the church. We come snatching another root vegetable. Out of the hands of the enemy. For your word declares. If we remain in you. And you shall remain in us. We baptize this leak. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This corn, fresh corn, you get this anywhere, child. They sell corn in the wintertime. When I was growing up, you couldn't get corn, but part of the year, Corn Growers Association of America have fixed that, have they not? They said, I got one for them suckers. We're going to get them corn all year round. And what they done did. I'm talking about, baby, all year round, you get fresh corn. Like it's the peak of summer. It's fresh corn. Throw this in there, come on into a bowl. We make a crab cakes. I mean, you said Darius, we ain't seen crab the first. Where the hell these crab cakes at? It's a process. My name is Carmen. Chef Carmen. HTX. From the window to the wall. Oh, sweet, sweet, them drums. I don't know the words. <laughs> this is going to get you that ring. 
that Range Rover that she don't have. One for the Father. Two for the Holy Ghost. Three for the Son. This corn, I cut it off the cob. Let's rinse it out. All right, we're gonna take the rinsed corn, fresh, not out the freezer, not out the can. But you make me upset. I have to cuss you out for that. All right, I be tired of y'all with the canned stuff. Why y'all like canned corn so much? The shit is disgusting. Quit eating that. You gonna rinse your corn? We got bacon, leeks, and corn in the pan. That's it so far. Let's go. Let's give it a mix. Thank you. It's bacon, leeks, and corn. That's it so far. What are we doing, Darius? It's very simple. We're building layers of the reason your food do not taste that good is because you refuse to layer your flavors. And I'm sorry, until you start doing that, it's not gonna be good, okay? All right, come on, we gotta keep moving. This train is, is moving. Cognac in the pan. Swig or two, that's all you need, all right? Might as well. Just a little swig of cognac. Touch is all you need. Okay? I've got a scallion. Megan the scallion. They should create a new game show. Slice a scallion while you're high. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, this scallion moving 95 different ways, okay? This thing is squirming like a 19 year old virgin, okay? This thing is squirming like a Two hour perm. It come on top of my head. Don't ask me where I get this shit from. Do not ask me where this shit come from. And this shit come on top of my head, child. I don't know. Top of my head it come off, y'all. Don't ask me, where you come up with this stuff? Where you get this from? I don't know. Okay. I want to slice my scallion. Is that okay? Let me get some ice water. Hold on, y'all. Put the scallions that I just sliced in this ice water. 
we'll put those to the side for a moment and let those hang out, okay? Meanwhile, we have a little more work to do. Not that much. All right, my cognac is like cooked out a little bit. Like I can smell it. It smells amazing and delicious and beautiful. And I have a can of coconut milk. Full fat coconut milk. Half the can and about half of the coconut cream can go in here, okay? About half the can and half of the coconut cream that rises to the top. If you're Caribbean, you're like, okay, Darius, I see you. Where's the, where's the hot pepper? Where's the scotch bonnet? I draw the line right there. All right. I draw the line right there. Let's season it. I got me a taint of chicken bouillon. Let me bring it over here. Hold on. All right. We have corn, leeks, bacon, a little bit of cognac. That's it so far, all right? Hit it with a touch of bouillon. Thank you. A touch of garlic powder. A touch of herbs de Provence or Italian seasoning. And of smoked paprika, hint of onion powder, black pepper, and a little pinch of red pepper flake for personality. All right, give that a mix. This smells insane, right? Back on the stove, she goes. On simmer if you want to, all right? We'll simmer that. And then we'll deal with it momentarily. Now, if there's anything you need, from my online store. You can go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the discount code SERVED at checkout to save 46% while we live. Thank you. Okay, we need a bowl for this. All right, let's grab a few things that need to go in this bowl. First thing is some mayonnaise. In fact, I don't even want to use this bowl. This is the bowl I want to use. It don't matter what kind of mayonnaise you use, okay? In the comments, people are getting ready to argue. Hellman's versus Duke's versus Blue Plate. What I'm trying to tell you, once you mix all these other flavors, Honey, she could be Hertz, Budget, and Enterprise. It wouldn't matter. She could be United, Delta, and American. 
it wouldn't matter. So all the arguing you finna do, it don't even matter. Get the mayonnaise that's on sale, including the store brand if that's what's on sale. Okay? Oh no, I only get Dukes. Oh no, I only get, girl, nobody asks you what you only get. But what's the best mayonnaise? The one that's on sale. Half the time, you're mixing mayonnaise with other ingredients anyway. Do it matter? No. A little lemon juice, or this lime juice. Lemon or lime, something citrusy, child. All right? A little bit of Worcestershire. Couple of days. All right, of Worcestershire sauce. To that, squeeze a two of Dijon mustard. Squeeze a two. I got the smallest pinch of kosher salt and the smallest pinch of <laughs> seafood seasoning. When they write me a check, I'll tell you who I used. <laughs> When they write me a check, I'll tell you who I use. Until then, use your best judgment <coughs> of who you think it is. A little touch of onion, a little touch of garlic powder. Just a, the smallest little pinch. You need to touch that. Okay? A little piece of black pepper. All right? When they write me a check, I'll tell you who it is. Until then, whatever seafood seasoning you want to use <laughs> is the one you use, all right? Fresh parsley. Now, I'll tell you what Carmen went wrong. I don't see how she seasoned it. I didn't see that part. But Carmen, this is where you went wrong. All right. You need to make your dressing pudding in a separate container. All right. Here's your dressing. This is the Darius Cook's um, the gold flatware. It's beautiful. Let me, let me show you how beautiful it is. Hold on. Mmm. Hold the line. This is just how beautiful the gold flatware is, okay? This is the box it come in. Look at that. Would you look at this? Who name is on this? Not Carmen's, Darius, Cooks, .tv. Shop DariusCooks.com. 46% off this evening. If you need one, you can certainly get it tonight at ShopDariusCooks.com. All right? All right. First thing you got to do is this dressing has to be on point, right? If this dressing is not on point, you are going to be screwed, okay? Your dressing has to be Beautiful. Woo! On point. It's got to be like that. All right? Let me tell you what else you're supposed to do. You want to take your jumbo crab.
and you put this in a separate bowl, pudding. Okay, a separate bowl. That's what you do here. Okay, you're gonna use a pound. This is eight ounces, very expensive stuff. How do you know it's expensive? It's the lump crab, all right? The little cluster lump thingy situation. That's what, like the knuckle, that's what this is. Now, you could use, you know, claw meat or all that other stuff or regular lump, not super jumbo lump or whatever. I don't care. At the end of the day, crab are gonna be crab, right? It's just a matter of if you wanna drive a Mercedes Benz or a Honda. They both will get you where you got to go. Both of them got four wheels, okay? It's up to you how you wanna get them, all right? Okay. Crab, I don't wanna to touch too much. I wanna leave some of them kinda of whole. But into my dressing, just a few panko breadcrumbs, right? Just to bind it, hold it together. A pinch of those. All right, now, what you wanna do is you wanna mix the breadcrumbs and the dressing in with the crab, right? And you wanna put just enough, not too much, a gentle stir to break up just some of the crab. And here's what I like to do. If I feel like it's a little too loose, I do a little bit of seasoned breadcrumb mixture. The seasoned breadcrumb mixture is going to soak up your extra moisture and it's not going to make it dry, all right? You see this? Look at what I've got, all right? I've got moist, but still kind of whole pieces of crab and you can taste it right to say is it too salty do i need to add a little more y'all are so goddamn good oh my god jesus that is beyond beyond amazing okay all right i'm gonna be using a Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet, if you need one, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word served, past tense. That's what Chantel was, served. <laughs> For 46% off, all right? All right, my oven is already at 400 degrees convection. It's hot, it's ready to go. I'm gonna show you how to form the crab cakes. You can form them as patties, fine, not a big deal. But there is a particular way that the uh, DMV likes to form their crab cakes, right? So what they'll do is they'll take a ball of the crab mixture, all right? They will put it in their hands and they will form it into almost a dome shape situation like this, all right? This is what your crab cake should look like, all right? The reason you want your crab cake moist is because it has to go in the oven. In oven, in the oven, it is going to eventually release some of the liquid, it's gonna evaporate. If this is too moist or if it's too dry going in, it's gonna be too dry crumbing out. Baby, this is not too many bread crumbs, honey. Look at my crab cake. All right? So that's crab cake number one. And you want it to hold together. All right? No eggs are needed, no binder is needed. Here is crab cake number two. Thank you. This is crab cake number three. And 
crab cake number four. Thank you. My oven, 400 degrees. I am broiling these crab cakes in this oven, all right? I put a little, no, the oil is not hot. I'm not frying these. I just don't want them to stick on the bottom, all right? Thank you. And it's 400 degrees on convection. I don't need these in there all day. The crab cakes are already cooked. I just want them to all come together. All right. Now, crab cakes are in the oven. Coconut corn bisque is simmering away. We should think about a little something on top. Don't you think so? You know, I'm thinking about presentation. I'm thinking about presentation. I'm thinking about flavor profiles. And the one thing I'm thinking is we need a little something on top. Don't worry. I got you. I promise. I know, I'm going to hell. Fresh corn, all right? I got two more ears of fresh corn. I know, in hell, well, I lift up my eye. I know, I know, okay, come on, y'all. If you haven't noticed, there's a theme tonight. Crab and corn is our theme. All right, fresh corn, fresh ripe sweet corn. Nothing's better than like fresh corn on the cob, or in this case, off the cob. corn into the pool. So this is two ears of fresh corn that I cut off the cob. Thank you. All right, let's add some lovely flavors to this, okay? Let's build, let's build a flavor explosion, people. All right. One Serrano chili. I don't even need the whole chili. I'm probably gonna end up using about half of this Serrano. Serrano to me is a little bit milder than a jalapeno business, a jalapeno. But if you like the spice, you like the heat, I don't think there's anything wrong with using a jalapeno. 
I just think Serrano will give you jalapeno flavor without as much jalapeno heat. You know what I mean? Personal opinion. So, a minced half of, if you want it spicier, I mean, by all means. Just your tone. All right. Go as spicy as you would like. All right. Red onion. There are sometimes I would tell you, I want you to use whatever onion is on sale. And in this case, you could do that. But I just think there's something beautiful about this red onion in this particular application that you just, it's like, you, it's like on a salad. You know what I'm saying? If you're eating one of those good juicy salads with that good vinegar, like that real good Fuji apple dressing from Panera Bread or something like that, it's like you need, you need a red onion for this. All right, and I'm just mincing the same way I minced that um, Serrano chili, all right? Let me show you what I got. See? I just have a little minced red onion, a little minced Serrano, and a little fresh corn. This is begging. It's begging for a few things. The first being fresh garlic. Hello? Can we do this without it? The answer is no, we cannot. We must have the fresh garlic. I'm using a microplane to grate the fresh garlic all the way in. Being sure to tap when I'm done. If there's anything you need from the online store, if you need a glass, a, one of the wine glasses, we have the Regal. I'm drinking out of the Royal. This is the uh, Santuco, but I also have the serrated knife, the chef knife, and the paring knife, all right? All the same, lovely, amazing quality. If you have the knives, you already know. All right, if you have the knives, Then what? You already know. All right, a little bit of salt and pepper. ShopDariusCooks.com. Discount code is the word serve at checkout. All right, salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar. I know you're going to say, Darius, what are you doing? Why would you add sugar to this? Because I'm adding lime juice. Because I'm adding lime juice, and I know that that lime juice is gonna bring tons of acid, I wanna bring in and introduce a little bit of sugar, not to make it sweet, but to balance the flavor, all right? Heads up. I'm also gonna add some oil. Heads up. All right, I'm also gonna add some oil, okay? I've not done it yet, but if this is weirding you out a little bit, heads up, it's on the way. So you might wanna turn the channel for the next two minutes, all right? Fresh cilantro. I'm one of those people, the more cilantro, the better. I know there are some people that say, you know, it tastes like soap and all that good stuff. I'm so sorry. Gosh, I'm sorry. 
All right, let me wipe this up and get this crap out of here. All right, we have ourselves a lovely little raw corn sitch, right? A little raw corn salsa, if you will. That's what we got. So I think corn is super versatile and can be used in a bunch of ways. And I just feel like if we're going to be using corn in the base of our dish, let's use it as a garnish, all right? Now, this is only begging for one more thing. What do you think it is? I want to see in the comments, what do you think this is begging for? Only one thing. Okay, somebody says feta, meat, lime, mango, cheese, red pepper, beautiful kitchen, guacamole, acid, bacon, Thai chili, a fork, tomato, Cajun seasoning, mild sauce, shrimp, mango. Avocado. It's only missing one thing. A little fresh avocado. What do you mean? What do you, it's only missing one thing. A little fresh avocado. What was that? I, I thought somebody had said something smart about something. Hold, hold, hold on one sec. Let me, let me run this. All right, what now, what was that about? Something about a crab cake. I remember somebody saying something about, something about a crab, I just, I gotta roll back up and go back through the comments because I just don't recall. Oh, that's not a crab cake or, that's too much of what? What was what was said again? I don't think I quite remember exactly what you said. Don't play with me, okay? It ain't many things I do well in life. Cooking. happens to be one of them. Cooking happens to be one of them. I know you ain't seen me on here that much because I've been busy globe trotting and whatnot and traveling around the world. I know. But I still know what the hell I'm doing. Diced avocado into the pool. Now what you get is, let me see if I can get a good spoonful so you can kind of see what we've got. What you get is a little diced avocado with the corn and the serranos and the lime juice, and the whole bit. And because the acid is already in here, guess what's not going to turn? Thank you.
Now, let's turn our attention to our lovely coconut corn bisque. This is the corn with the coconut milk. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. Just, you know what, I might as well do the whole thing, right? I'm gonna add a little water to this so that it pulses good. And I'm not looking for every piece of this to be pureed, you know what I mean? All right, lid goes on. We will pulse to start. We have done a fantastic job of ensuring that our bisque is beautiful. Now, I just wanna taste it to see what flavors I need to adjust. Let me see. Oh, God. Oh, God. Creamy. Sweet, the slightest hint of coconut, a little bit of that sort of spice hits you. That is amazing. That is out of this world, okay? Speaking about this world, let's do it. A little bit of corn bisque, coconut corn bisque goes on the bottom. I love a dish where a side doubles as a sauce. To me, I think that's beautiful. I think it's amazing and it's a fantastic use of creativity, okay? My hand Crab cake. I'm gonna slide him right in the middle because that's all I'm eating. It's literally one crab cake, okay? This beautiful, lovely raw corn salsa can go all about the bowl and the plate. And don't skimp because it's just that delicious, all right? Now, all I need to do is do a little drizzle of olive oil and a little hint of scallion on top. And now we have coconut corn bisque, a beautiful, lovely crab cake, with a beautiful, lovely, raw corn salsa right on top. Now, if you're gonna have a crab cake, there's plenty of ways to have a crab cake, but I think this is a beautiful way to enjoy the delicate taste of crab with the sweet, lovely, beautiful taste of corn. Now, if there's anything you need from my online store, you can go to shopdariuscook.com. The discount code is the word SERVED. Put that in at checkout, it'll save you 46% only while I'm live. Bow your head so that we can say grace. Grace. All right, I want a bite. Oh, oh, somebody, let me show you this. Somebody says, oh, it's dry. What's that? Hmm, what's that? Oh, it's dry, it's dry. Darius, it's so dry. Oh my God, your crab cake, it's so dry. 
You don't know when your cream can get that dry. That's dry? Deal with it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and that outside has gotten a little crispy. So, oh, my God. Let me say something. Baby. So the thing is this, you don't want to throw the fork, no, you don't want to to mince up that, that crab too, too small, you want that crab to have, have some texture to it, huh, you want that crab to have a little texture to it, see that? All right, we got about five minutes. ShopDariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word served at checkout, 46%. Two things I want to tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you a happy cooking. From my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Yo, you gotta make a crab cake, eh?